All right. So let's let's get out the get the obvious. Why are you shaking there. your head, Seth? Yeah. Let's get the obvious out there, right? Yeah. Fins yeah. and Fins Twitter has officially become the most obnoxious people and fan base. Oh man! After what? starting three zero, they are now Barrett Barrett included here is completely overthinking the Thursday night football game already. <laughs> I okay. Let me just. Let me just say, okay, Twitter is relatively new, and I am a relatively middle-aged fan before the Twitterverse, and I've only been on this Dolphins Twitter train for about a year and a half now. So, yes, especially if Miami winning, they, they are definitely obnoxious. I will not deny. Half of them are crazy. You got 25% of them that are like – kind of like me that, you know, are just kind of creeping along with the success, don't really know what to make of it. Then the other 25 are just extreme, just crazies, you know, and then you maybe have like a 1% like that still hate Tua or whatever. But yeah, they're, they're, they're wild. But let me tell you, like, this is a lot for a lot of these younger fans. I mean, th this is new territory. Like some of them really, truly don't know how to react. And yeah, I am a little nervous because – you know, Miami hasn't been 4-0, I think, since like 95, okay? I was like nine years old. So I can't imagine, like I, like I said, I, I told you guys earlier, I'm more nervous about tomorrow night's game, prime time, in Cincinnati than I was during the Bills game, honestly. And I haven't drank, I asked my wife, I have not drank a lick of liquor this season yet. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might have to drink tomorrow night. Like, the nerves are, the nerves are creeping, man. Like, that's a lot of pressure. I don't, I, I don't even know how to react. Like, I, what am I doing? So, whew. All right, Barrett. Well, let's talk about that Finns-Bills game, huh? Josh Allen throwing the ball 63 times, having 400 mm. yards on the ground or in the air. Uh, another 47 on the ground here. Do you think Miami escaped Buffalo, or do you think Miami just shut them down offensively? I wouldn't say shut them down. I think it's a little bit of both, right? Like they, that is the definition of bend, but don't break. Like they, they're going to score a couple touchdowns. They had the ball, I think 90 times, 90 possessions. Miami only had it 39 times. Uh, there's a lot of math you can do, but it's done on Twitter, you know, for everyone. But it's like, even with Miami's 39 possessions, they still averaged a higher you know, scoring output, obviously, and they won the game. They did enough to win. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the 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 home field advantage, the heat, it, it got to Buffalo. And I like how, you know, it's been like this for, thir for 30 – since the inception of Miami, like – or maybe at least the new stadium. This – Bills won 35 to nothing last year in the heat. So, come on. Like, now all of a sudden – there's a Buffalo Bills fan talking about calling OSHA. Like, come on. I mean, come on. Like, take the loss. And 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 there are Bills fans that are are, are taking it fine. But listen, with with every fan base, Miami is included. You're gonna have overreactors. You're gonna have people blaming everything. But um, yeah, I think my it was a little bit of an escape. You know, they escaped. But but the defense played the way they needed to play when it mattered. And and they got the win. And Tua, with only 18 attempts, I mean, they got 21 points, no matter what you say, you know. So, yeah, I've, I've been sober. But, uh, I mean, it was a crazy game. Jesus Christ. That, that's, whew. It was definitely fun to watch. 